What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in this episode of Advanced BIM Analysis with the Backsell Manager, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the at one of the Backsell's latest products, and that is Cloud-Based Backsell Viewer. Uh, now, in some of the latest videos, I've made a preview of this solution, but in this video, I will explain a set of possibilities and scenarios within it. So the Bexel Viewer is a cloud-based solution for collaboration, enabling real-time data exchange between stakeholders. Uh, the whole solution is based on OpenBIM, so it fully supports IFC and BCF standards. The user is able to manage projects and project data in the online environment, color code custom breakdowns, organize the projects and its data using flexible selection set structures, exchange annotations and issues via BCF, review collisions and play 4D simulations. All of these functionalities made workflows within the integrated BIM environment much easier, uh, for example, for BIM uh, progress monitoring. Now, I have a video on uh, this topic already covered within the advanced BIM analysis series, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, let's start. First, I will publish the sample model to the cloud by clicking on the Publish to Online Viewer option. As I've already mentioned, Bexel Viewer fully supports the IFC standard, so you can choose between IFC 2.3 or IFC 4 version. Also, you can export all elements, filter desired selection, or just current uh, currently visible elements. Within the publisher, you can check if you want to export selection set structure from Bexel Manager or not. This option is very useful for visual control and analysis, so I will keep selection sets and publish them also. I have to mention that the Bexel Viewer Publisher is not available for uh, trial license users. After the publishing process is done, you will get an email with a link. Just click on it and the model will be opened in your browser. And here it is. I will click on the Backsell Viewer logo and within the Sources tab, click on the Load All button. Of course, you are able to load only desired sources or all at once. Uh, on the other tabs, model elements are distributed by IFC classes, spatial and selection set structure. The main 3D model ribbon contains options for model navigation, such as reset view, switching from 2D to 3D, or from orthographic to perspective type of view. In continuation, there are options for element selection, sectioning tool, and measure tool. All element properties can be seen by activating the Properties button. By clicking on the desired element, all its data contained within the Bexel Manager is listed within the viewer. The section tool is active by clicking on the slice object button and choosing the desired plane for sectioning. You can make multiple section planes and navigate around the model. You are able to create a snapshot in PNG file format by clicking on Capture Screenshot option. You can measure distances and angles between elements within a measure with, with the measure tool. On Settings button, you can fine-tune navigation controls, set ambient lighting, camera, and change display settings. For collaboration, Bexel Viewer is using BCF file format, so you're able to exchange issues and track progress on-site within the cloud environment. Okay, this was a quick overview of the main ribbon, but this was just part of the options within uh, available within the viewer. By selecting desired elements, you can control their visibility. Do you want to hide them, hide others, show all, etc. Activating the option Colorize Selected, you can change their colors. You can also change colors by selecting the group of elements within the selection set structure. All these options are available on the right click. You can set, load and save annotations on the model elements, right click 
on the element in the 3D viewport to activate the drop-down list and choose add annotations. Type, uh, name and description and that's it. Now you can share it with other stakeholders. And now for the most interesting part. Bexel Viewer enables element color coding, saving scenes and playing for the simulations. We can create color-coded views within the Bexel Viewer. Scenes are related to selection sets, so by right-clicking on the desired selection set and the Save Scene option, you will be able to save visible colored elements and model position in, in the browser. By clicking on the Show Color-Coded, previously saved scene on the current selection set will be applied. If you have already defined color-coded schemes within Bexel Manager using the BCF file, you can load them and just save the scene. Uh, that way, all stakeholders that have the link to the model by clicking on the option Show Color-Coded will automatically view saved scenes. Currently in this model, we can apply scenes for clash detection view clicking on one of the clash jobs. On the construction sequence uh, selection set, I can visually analyze the project by its phases. I can check cost performance index or schedule performance index on uh, uh, the same way. Of course, at any time you can reset the color to default or apply the start scene with fine-tuned color scheme. So once you create the desired scene, you can save it directly in the browser and save it as a BCF or as an exchange file. And now for the simulation. By right-clicking on the Schedule Animation Selection Set, type Daily and choose option Animate, Animation is activated. Duration of the simulation can be fine-tuned on Display Settings, Option Animation Frame Per Second, all simulations created within the Bexel Manager and their intervals, hourly, daily, weekly or monthly can be exported to the Bexel Viewer. As I said in the beginning, all of these functionalities made a workflow for BIM progress tracking much, much easier. I will quickly go through a couple of steps. In the Bexel Manager, generate the look-ahead plan for the time period directly from the construction simulation and create a BCF file. Load BCF file in the Bexel Viewer, adjust the selection according to the actual on-site progress and send back BCF file to Bexel Manager, then create a progress entry for element selection and update the schedule and analyze according to the actual on-site progress. The full video named Advanced BIM Analysis BIM Progress Monitoring, which you have already watched, is available in the description within the Bexel Manager playlist on my channel. And for the end, I will briefly show you my sample model and what I have done in the Bexel Viewer, applying all of these interesting functionalities available within it. In the Bexel Manager, I have prepared a couple of selection sets and published the Office project to cloud-based Bexel Viewer. I have analyzed the model by its spatial structure, visualized the breakdown by model categories, beams, ceilings, curtain panels, etc. And of course, animate the building to view the 4D simulation. Also, I have played with element colors and scenes, changing colors by element categories and shared color-coded views via BCF files between Bexel Manager and Bexel Viewer. Really cool, right? And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll be back in a few days with another Balkan Architect tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.